What's up guys, you want to learn how to make some really cool logos just like these? Let's get into it. Does your stream need healing? You've come to the right place. My name is Dr. Heels and I am your content cleric. Around here we make videos just like this to help you build a bomb brand on a budget. So today we're gonna to be diving into Canva, showing you how to make some really, really cool logos. All right, first thing you wanna do is go ahead and go to canva.com. As it's loading up, some of what we're gonna be doing today will require a pro account. If you do not already have a pro account, go down to the description and grab my link, get you a 30 day free trial to Canva Pro, see if you like it, or go ahead and make the logo that you want and you can cancel at the end. Shh, I didn't say that. All right, so we're gonna be working on uh, making some logos. So I'm just gonna start from scratch. Um, if I wanted to, I could start here. And so um, I could actually search out a logo, like um, I will say a you know night logo. It'll make sense why I said night logo later, right? And then I can go through here and look around and see what there is, what I like, what I don't like, all those sorts of things. For now, we'll start with create a design. We will choose logo, so it's just gonna be a 500 by 500. I actually like my logos to be a little bit bigger than that even when I start them, so let's go a custom size, and we'll go 1080 by 1080. Okay, so to start with, always like to start with a brand prompt. Don't just make a logo that looks good. A lot of people make this mistake. You actually want to have some ideas of your brand, and so as a streamer, think about it. Are you a FPS player? Are you a chess player, right? An FPS player and a chess player with the same name will have a very different logo, right? Or are you a variety streamer? Are you playing cozy games? Are you playing horror games, right? Like all this matters to your brand. And so I've decided today we're gonna make three logos for the same brand name. It's gonna be the brand name or the streamer name, Night Flare. So I went ahead and made, um, made this already and so here we go we're gonna be making three different logos for night flare one is gonna be an fps gamer logo that should be edgy bold right uh, a chess player who is intelligent classy right and a variety streamer which should be playful maybe feminine right and so these are the three different concepts that we're going with so let's go ahead and start with the fps player i'm just gonna click add page and start right here now for this one, I was thinking, you know, Night Flare, FPS, kind of makes me think it's probably going to be a mascot type logo. And so that's a logo with a character. And so I thought, you know, what kind of character would be there at night? You know, I've got vampires or ghosts, but it leans a little more horror. Owls. Owls are very night, right? So let's go with Owl logo. And as I type in Owl logo, you can see there's already a ton. I could see easily using something like this, right? Definitely works. Not quite what we're going with, so let's keep looking. There's all kinds of cute owls, smart owls. Um, I kind of like this one right here, but this is clearly, you know, a basketball logo. Um, not quite what we're going for. Uh, so I'm just going to undo that and go back. And just kind of looking around, trying to see what fits the feel that I'm wanting. Now, I love like this Keith, what is it, Keithston? Uh, bookstore. I love that style. I love that, you know, monochromatic type logo, that single color logo. But for this one, I really think I wanted, you know, edgier and bold, right? That's what I said right there. And so I think what we're going to go with is this one right here. Uh, it says Nightbird logo. And I really like the look. I really like the feel. Um, I even like the color. The red and black definitely has an esports FPS type feel to it. And so let's just go ahead and change it to, you know, Night Flare. Uh, we'll delete this. We don't necessarily need the second line unless you wanted to put, you know, Twitch streamer or Call of Duty expert or, you know, something, whatever, whatever you play. Um, kind of looking at it. I mean, it's solid right now. Let's say we want to keep night being, you know, black and then we'll split it here and make flare um, like that same red color. And so Canva loves me so much that it went ahead and found the exact red that's in the image already. And so all I got to do is click that one right there. And there we go. Um, really, I would I would say that's that's pretty solid. If I wanted to, you know, kind of um, warp the text around the logo, I could go into effects here, go to curve, and just put the curve to like a negative, you know, something like that. If I really if I really wanted to, you can bring it down just a little bit, give a little bit of a little bit of space. But within a few seconds. We have what I would consider to be a pretty solid FPS style logo using a template. Now, 
for our next logo, I, I don't think we'll use a template. We'll actually make something from scratch. And so, yes, there are all kinds of templates. Um, and even if I'm looking for, you know, a chess logo, right? There's going to be all kinds of templates and things that I could use. But for this one, let's go ahead and make something from scratch. And so first thing we're going to do is put in, uh, go ahead and put in some text here. So I'm just going to press my T key and I'm going to put in an N uh, for night flare. And I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Um, this slab type text doesn't really fit the branding that I'm going for for my chest brand. And so we're not going to keep that. We're actually going to go over here to, uh, I apologize. We're going to go right here and we're going to start kind of looking through the different fonts that are here. Now I could continue to look, I could type in like classy, right? And there's a classy font, you know, that that's something. Um, I could go with um, a serif font, which is what I'm looking for is more of a, a serif type font, like, you know, like that font right there. But I'm, I'm really just looking for a font that fits the feel that I'm wanting, like, like right, that fits the brand feel that I'm wanting. These are really close. Let's go with Playfair. Playfair display. There we go. Okay, that's solid. All right, so I'm going to make this a little larger for now. This is going to be what's called a like monogram logo. So I'm making the logo out of the in itself. And so as I'm kind of looking at the in, I'm thinking, you know, let's go into our elements and see if we can't find a cool chess piece. Um, that might be able to fit inside of the in or maybe replace a stem of the in or something like that, you know? And and so as I'm looking, I could easily use like a bishop here. Ooh, the bishop kind of looks cool. It, it, it almost fits there pretty well. But let's uh let's make him a king. I think a king is is very fitting, you know. Something like that. Now, it doesn't look that, that good because the line is behind there. So let's go into our elements again. We'll hit this little square and then we're just basically going to cover it up. I'm going to bring it to the edge here, make it smaller, bring it down just like that. We'll make it white, go to position and send it backwards. Okay. So there we go. We already started kind of cutting it out. I'm going to zoom in here so I can get a little more precise with this one. I want this spacing to match this spacing. Anytime you have spacings, so you see you have a space between like the cross and the, the top of the king there, you really want these spacings to match each other. That's gonna make it just feel uh, feel a lot more professional. I think that's pretty good right there. See, I have a little few little spots coming through under there from the bottom of that serif, and so I'm gonna bring in another square, make it small. Now, if I'm gonna put this on a transparent background, I'm gonna have to do things a little bit different. Um, but for this right here, we're going to have it on a colored background at all times. This is going to work out just fine. I'm going to make it white, go to position, move it backwards. Now let's zoom out and take a look at our monogram logo. Nice. That feels really, really solid to me. But you know what else? I want to um, maybe give a little bit of like difference in color. And so let's make this like what goes with night, kind of like a, like a moon, right? Moon color. Let's go uh, not quite like white, but let's go with like a gold, like this one. How's that? Yeah, I like that. That's sort of like, I get it. It's not gold. It's sort of a uh, sort of yellow, but you know, as close as I got right now to gold, let's see. Darken it just a little bit. And I wanted to, I could go look up an actual like gold hex code. That feels, that feels pretty good, right? Getting into browns there. So let's go back up a little bit. All right, we'll go with that. Okay. Now I'm just going to select everything, including my white squares that are behind it. And I am going to press control G to group it. And though I, I lied, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to contr control Z, but I am going to select everything and size it down by itself. Just like that. Then I want to grab this in. I'm going to hold down alt and hold down shift to drag it over and shift keeps it in line. I want to get my spacing about right. And let's go and type out the rest of the name. Oh, I must still have it too large. Okay. This is good. This is going to help us with our sizing. I do like the spacing between each letter, so I don't want to reduce that yet. Okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna grab everything and size it down. Okay, then I grab this, drag it down, line it up maybe over to the left and type flare. All right, now we just kind of position these. 
kind of like that. Group that together. And there we go. Just like that, you have a fully custom, um, classy chess logo. Move on to our last one was our last one. It was a variety streamer. Let's think playful, feminine, sort of like that. And so here I want to go and show you the usefulness of Canva templates once again, but then we will make a fully custom one. But for now, let's look at Canva templates just for a second. Let's go with a cozy logo. Let's see what we get here for cozy logos. Okay. These feel really cool. Already kind of fitting the vibe. I love this one. A bread house. I don't understand why that's cozy, but I like it. Oh, we got like the boba here, but that doesn't really fit the the night, you know, the night flare. And so um, I think I like the cat, the cat with like the moon in the background. And this is easy. Let's just delete that unless you want to add something there. But let's see. We'll go night flare, which is all one word. And you can see it doesn't quite fit as well because it's a little bit longer of a word. And so what we'll do is we'll bring it up and out a little bit and maybe just rotate it a little. Something, you know, kind of use my, my arrow keys to nudge it into spot, into place. Something like that feels pretty good. I could go into my effects here and reduce the curvature just a little bit. Oh. Something like that. And use my arrow keys again to kind of nudge it. Yeah, right there. I think that feels pretty good. We could down here go, you know, um, cozy streamer or, you know, something of that sort. There we go, really simple, really easy logo. But for the next one, let's go ahead and say we want to make something a little bit more custom. And so let's think about what like is cozy and night-like. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. We could even use like ChatGPT for this if you wanted to like, hey, give me 15 cozy elements. Um, I think of like a blanket, right? Let's see, type in a blanket. And make sure you go into graphics, not photos, graphics. Um, Okay, so these are these are something. There we go. Yeah, right. Not quite the vibe I'm going for. Not quite it. There's a baby in a blanket. Um, let's think. What else? What else is night? We could definitely go with the owl. We already did the owl. I think it'd be easy to do it like a, a cute owl though. Let's do like a cozy owl. Yeah, easy. Very adorable. There you go. That would be cute. That'd be adorable for our night our, our night flare logo, right? Easily could go with the owl. But since we already did that, I won't do that here. Let's go with like a. Uh, what about a, like, a cup of hot chocolate, right? Like, so let's go with a, a mug. Um, okay, this, this looks good. I was gonna say, maybe I'll type in like cute mug. Um, one thing I'm looking for is I really wanna make sure that I can change the colors. See how I don't have color options here? But if I choose like this one, I have all the color options. And so I could, you know, make any kind of changes that I wanted to. Wow, that was a terrible color choice. Uh, let's see. Okay, oh, I kinda like the, I kinda like the ghost too. I kind of like the ghost, but see, I can't change the colors on it, so I'm not going to go with it, but I like the ghost with the little cup of coffee. Very cute. This one I like. I can change all the colors. I don't like how I can't see that one already, so let's give it like a, a blue. That kind of, yeah, that fits. Okay, so we'll move that aside, and then we want to go ahead and put our name out here. Um, and so one of the things that I like to do, actually, whenever I'm not sure what kind of text I want to use, I'll just actually type in here like a cozy logo and start looking at different fonts that are being used, right? So let's create a new page so we don't override our current page. And just looking at the fonts, I really like this one. We'll come back to it. What is this one? That's kind of interesting. Definitely not, not what we're going for. So let's keep looking. What is this one? Is that a single font? No, see, that's a picture. Oh, that, see, that one would have been cool. What about this one? Okay, so we can try that. I'm going to control C to copy it, bring it up to my my picture, control V to paste and go night flare. Okay, I like the feel of this. I'm going to bring these in so that I can scale it up a little easier. Maybe we want to like, I don't know, rotate it just a little bit. That actually already has a really cool feel to it. And so let's go ahead and change the color to Maybe our pink attendant, or what about the red? Where's the red? It's not really red, I guess it's just a darker pink. Like that maybe? Like that kind of has a cool feel to it, right? So I wanna show you one thing before we end. Let's say that there was a logo that you really liked like the style of. You can actually just select it like I did right there. And then you can hit this and it's actually 
going to shuffle all the colors. I don't know if you could see that. It shuffles all the colors. And so I can keep hitting it and it's gonna keep changing it to like that color. And so let's go with, look at one has a bunch of colors. We're gonna click, like, click X. It, it, oh, this one's gonna change the font too. Let's just remember what font we have, Mango AC. And I can click it here. Oh, actually that font feels really good. I like that font. We might just change our font. I like this actually. Let's go ahead and bring this a little closer. Like that, you know? Make it a little, make the text a little bit larger. There we go. Okay, Lazy Dog is our new font. See, just like that, we found a new font that we liked even more. Now we can continue to kind of scroll around. We could pick any of these. I'm just looking for a color that I like right now. And so this doesn't shout nighttime to me, but this purple does. And so I'm gonna remember Lazy Dog is my font and let it kind of change our colors. That feels nice. It's pretty good. All right, is only options it's gonna give me? Okay, let's go with this. Change this back to Lazy Dog. Change our mug color. Basically anything that's white, let's make it not white, right? No, I guess we can leave that one as kind of the gray color, this one. Okay. I'm trying to figure out another color that would go with this. Okay, I think that right there. There we go. And just like that, we have a cozy feeling um, logo, right? And I wanna show you that that really, just again, say with our Night Flare logo here. Let's say that I wanted to go with a, we'll go, we'll go eSports. An eSports logo, you're gonna see there's a bunch of really cool ones. But let's say I really like the coloring of this. And so I can click right here and it's going to update all my stuff. It changes my font. It changes my colors. I actually really like the way that looks. It's just a lot more simple. Uh, let's go with this one. That looks really cool too. Okay. So you can see, you can definitely get in here and just kind of play around with it. So there you go. That'll bring you to the end of this video. I hope that you learned something. If you make something really cool, do me a favor, join my discord, post it in the share your art channel. I'd love to see what you guys make using these videos. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I plan to be releasing a lot more videos just like this one in the near future. All right. Appreciate you. I'll see you guys in the next one.